welcome to another exciting episode of Iskayad on Location. Today we are going to explore art exhibition here at Sarit Center and get to know what it really takes to become an artist. I'm your host, Ambia Haji. Okay. Oh, so how, what was the inspiration be, behind this particular art? Okay, in the nature. Okay. Ito inaito mama Africa. Mama Africa. Okay, nili kamo na idea binye. Most of nili na mama mama. Huh? Okay, kamo pamoja, kamo kuhu kwa estate yes. pana yes. kwa kama chama. Okay. Then na na yu chama ya mama mama ina group san. So idea nili kuwa binye kitu moja ineza kama na. What we can do is to do it. Now, I have a or do you only concentrate on women? Uh, uh, eh. I do <laughs> Most of the time, it's easy. Yes. series ya African women. Okay. Who appreciate, who appreciate. African wa, ladies. Eh, African ladies. Okay. My name is Peter Matu. I do pencil realism. So, I get I get a, 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 a reference photo, and then from there I get to put it down with pencil. And what was in your mind when you were drawing this? I oh. love the moon. Love every, time, every, time, every time the moon comes out in the sky, yes. Yes. I find myself just gazing at it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so I just thought, hey, I should put this thing down with pencil. That's sad. Yeah, even during the process, yes. I, I studied it a lot in life. Yeah, so I just put it down and you see it came out quite nice. No. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kandi. Okay. And I'm a watercolorist. Okay, which water. Means my yes. main medium yes. is watercolors. I love doing watercolors. I started painting I think when I was in primary school. So these are my these are my handmade cards collections. Yes. I've taken my love for watercolors and created uh, cards with them. Okay. I've always loved playing with paper, so this for me is a natural transition. Yes. So I think it's very nice when someone gets a handwritten yeah. card from card. me. I mean, it feels <laughs> so special. Yes. <laughs> this flower is called a hydrangea, and so I have them in my garden, okay. and I wanted to express them in, a, in an abstract sort of way. So I've done something called layering on this painting. Yes. Uh, with watercolors, I've, I've used quite a number of effects on it. I love how it came out. Yeah. So, what? There are times that, as, a, as an artist, I understand you get stuck somewhere, maybe. So, how do you, how, how do you come up of that time? <laughs> it's called artist's block, and okay. it happens a lot. Yes. What, what has worked for me is I just keep painting, even when I'm painting what I'd call rubbish. I just keep painting. Painting, okay. Because sometimes what you need to do is just keep doing the work until yes. you get to a point where you find your inspiration. And sometimes inspiration is caused by the amount of work you've done. You've done, yeah, yes. the consistency. So that's, that's what works for me. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I've been drawing since childhood okay. and I've grown to understand my style the more I, I create more art. Oh, but I'm more into digital art. I start with sketches, then transfer them to Adobe Illustrator where I can digitally illustrate them illustrate to have them. something like this. Okay, for my creative process, I really love starting with sketches because as I sketch, it, it, it allows me to know where, where to put what elements, where to put what characters, and where to place the text, yeah? So uh, as I create, I create sketches, then from the sketches, I then transfer them to Adobe Illustrator, which is the software that I use to create my digital illustrations. So from this, as you can see, this is currently in black and white, yeah? Yes. So fr from this, I now go to, to the coloring process where we can be able to achieve this. So you sketch this using a pen, his pen, Yes, these are the, the pens I use, yes, exactly, for all this, for this work. 
Then after from here, I then transfer to Adobe Illustrator. So now this is already digital. Yes. Just that it's not yet colored. Colored. Yes. And now from here, I have to understand who I'm really trying to target. Like, and like for example, for Tuchere Magazine, yes. it was targeted at kids. So from this, I had to move to bright colors, vibrant colors, colors that can be attracted to, attractive to kids. Yes. Yeah, so I opted for blue, red, and some bit of yellow so that it can it can be able to shout. Yeah, so this is my work pro pro process for the magazine. Yes. This is it, sketches, black and white digital illustration, and then finally, the product, Tutorial Magazine. So this is the cover, these are just some contents from the side, and also from the back page, as you can see, are also some of my work. These are a, 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 a compilation of cartoons I did in 2018. So all these cartoons are the cartoons I created in 2018. Yes, and together we, with our brand name Mood Studio, which I, I take so much pride in. And uh, for the kids' magazine, they go for 500, and they come with uh, one free, one free set of 12 crayons, and uh, they also come with a free, free kid ID, and also one free sticker. Yeah, this go for 500 shillings. Yes, and uh, the sticker alone yes. goes for 20 bob. If there's anyone interested in a sticker, it goes for 20 shillings. But for the colors and for the for the kid ID, we are not selling this one. Oh, uh, they just go with the book. Yes, and just to share something with the the, the kid ID. Yes. We created this mainly for security purposes for kids, yeah? Okay. Because uh, sometimes a kid may be stranded in town and they may not really know who they can call. Yeah. So I opted to create this so that through the guidance of a parent, yeah. they can be able to have their names, their school, and the contact. And when you fl flip on the other side, we have the emergency contact. Okay. So even when the child is stranded away on their way back home, through the guidance of the parent, they know that they can check this to someone who is trusted, maybe a guard outside there or a matatu driver. Yes, that was the main intention for creating this kid ID. <coughs> I have for this, this was a series I did in October last year, in October. And these art talks, I sell them on, actually they're on offer right now, because initially there were 3,000 each, and two went, went for 5,000. But now I'm selling them at 2K, because I'm really trying to make people have what they love inside their homes. Okay. Yeah, and for this, this go for 6,500. Yeah, so this is what you have. I'm currently working on the second one. This is a project called True Colors. Colors. Yes, this is the first piece. The second one is in progress. I'm targeting 20 pieces, what and are each inspired? will go. Yes. Two colors. Two colors is about. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting all my mind on paper without hiding any, anything, anything, without putting any filter on anything. Wow. I'm just expressing what I think and what I feel. That's what this project called Two Colors is about. And this was a project I did for Art Cafe. There, there was a competition on. Uh, designing their mug, the mug cover, the coffee coffee cup or coffee mug, that one. Yeah, so this was my interpretation for Nairobi and now I, I've mounted it. So this one goes for 28,000 and this one goes for 15,000, yes. So maybe Okay. And I'm a visual artist. Yes. Visual artist. Yes, I okay. create visual art. So my main mediums of work are yes. acrylic and charcoal. Okay. And the ones that I have here are mainly are only the, the acrylic ones. So I like to create artwork that when things leave an impression on me, that's yes. what I like to create. So with these first ones, the portrait ones, yes. these are these are acrylic on paper. And the title of this series, it's a series of more than 10 pieces, okay. but I currently have two with me here. So it is a series of work called Baldi, which celebrates women who wear their bald, who wear bald hair, who oh. don't have hair. Because in society in general, um, with women um, and beauty standards, they're usually, it's usually like if you have hair, you're more beautiful. And so I wanted to celebrate women who rock their bald hair. This piece, that one, and this one, and that one, are inspired by the coast. Are inspired by the coast, yes. So with these ones, I wanted to feature the beach and the ocean, but in stillness. And that's why the ocean is the only thing that's featured, yes. And they were inspired by Lamu specifically. Lamu, wow. Yes, and I wanted to feature the ocean. Yes. 
and because Lamu uh, is also famously known for its buildings, yes. I wanted to recreate this okay. piece yes. in the streets of Lamu. Yes. But as you know that um, in Lamu, a lot of the uh, a lot of the buildings there are usually in white. So yeah. I wanted to imagine it the streets, but in color. color. Yes. From Lamu too, so how many trigger kidogo have all? Yes. This is Lamu Fort, right? Yes. Okay. So this is my recreation of it. Yes. It's also acrylic on paper. Oh. Mm -hmm. I wanted to. So both of these four pieces yes. are inspired by the coast. And I imagined them. Yes. These shoes are called sandals. 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 And a lot of people don't wear them. Okay. They're not popularly worn. And there was a time in the past where people used to wear them a lot. And that inspired me to create them and to paint these paintings. And most of the times, yes. they're usually worn by like Samburu people or Maasai people. Maasai people. And when they wear them, they wear them with colorful socks or patterned socks wow. or like happy socks, the way people they like to call them. Yes. And so I wanted to highlight that, the shoes and the socks. My name is Ruth Nakunde. Okay. I'm a creative, okay. professional artist. Ruth okay. started painting when I was very young. Okay. So this is my life. So you entirely depend on this? Yeah. First of all, yes. I was born in Africa. Okay. From a traditional home background. Okay. So my, my art is patterned from, 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 my, from my traditional okay. culture, yes. creating it and giving it to the world. Studied at yeah one oh, year yes. and I'm still continuing. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So how do you feel being here generally? It's how some goes, the yes. culture, you meet different people, you meet clients. Yes. Yeah, uh, who in future, even if not now, but yes. in the future they can do the work, yes. you can work with them. So it's good because of the exposure. Okay. So now that you are studying it, Nikama Umayamosa to pursue this Ikweni, the main no. source of income. No. No. Oh, just for? I, I studied because. Yes. Okay. But mainly it was a talent. It was a talent. Yeah. So when did you discover it? I, when I was in primary school. Primary school. Yes. And you started executing two years ago, you say? Yeah. Like now, painting. Yes. I used to do just pencil work. Okay. Yeah. Oh. In high school, I was the, the best in artists, so I could make the diagrams. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So about, so sir, this is the market. Since you are a market, yeah. Yeah. Come here, and how much you can see it's a very nice piece. Yeah. In ya. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Yeah. Wow. Can say it's worth it. Yeah. It's worth it. Yeah. Ten thousand. Okay. Yeah. So press na take me size bi. Take me ana size. Mhm. Mm na pinch ni kwa ndani. Oh. So unaweza pata iko na pinch ndogo sana kuliko hii. Na dogo but so expensive oh. because of the details. So you check most of the details. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Thank you so much for your time, sir. <laughs> wow. So guys, I can say the exhibition, the experience is quite overwhelming. We've learned a lot from these artists. I can say that pure talent. So before we wrap up the show, I would like us to get views from the organizing team, the guys that did the real work, putting this, all of this together. Me and it was Michael Aguero, and me and the artist, since you are among the organizers. Okay. And we find a Sana show. Yes. So what can you say was the main idea of coming here? Okay, main idea is to come here. Yes. When you yes. to promote my artist, you talk about time of COVID, you yes. have a job. Okay. So, 
tuna come tunaongea na mall wanatupatia spaces then hizo spaces tunagawia kwa ma artist okay. at affordable rate uh, and how do you reach out to these artists maybe okay tuko na group inaitwa okay. sana 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 at sarit so tuko na members kama more than 50 So tuna tunaambia tu wase tukipata space mahali tunaambia wase wa wa register. So mainly you take art peke yake hapa sarit peke yake. Ah bana tunakuanga kwa mall zingine but kwa hizo mall zingine tunakuanga as individuals. Kama mimi mko Wawero ama kama Steve Rans kila mtu peke yake. Okay. So being an artist yourself and being the organizers of this <laughs> whole thing here how can you say generally about the market of the market of this art out there how do kenyans perceive this okay so easy yes kenyans wameanza to appreciate art okay wameanza kufika bei si yes. kama kitambo <laughs> yeah. so na hiyo ni kitu kwa na kwa kwa wana kama wana to support okay. Okay. thank you so much that <laughs> Okay. And for those artists ambao hawajapata kukuja this time and now they would want to be part of this how can you reach you maybe? how can they reach you maybe Okay kutu reach wanaweza yes. search kwa sana sana at okay kwa IG kwa follow hiyo page utakuwa yes. unapata kila info yenye tuna post hapo Sana at Sarit Thank you so much Michael for that um, It's, I can say it's a great work for the upcoming artists. I can see you are promoting youth out there. And for guys who would like to, their, to showcase their work to the world, I can say this is the place. Thank you guys for watching today's East Garden location. See you next time. Bye.